What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at tech you can actually afford. Now we all love those big ticket items like TVs, monitors, all that good stuff. But what about some options that don't break the bank? So first up, we've got a smartphone. This is the Alcatel A30 Fierce. And when you're thinking about a smartphone with some of the latest features, you know you're looking at at least $300 plus, but this guy is just 80 bucks. So huge shout out to Metro PCS for not only sponsoring today's video, but getting this in house for it. Now you're probably wondering what kind of specs can you get for 80 bucks? So we're looking at a 5.5 inch 720p display. It's 80 bucks guys, cut us some slack. But we've also got two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, which is actually really good for this price range. And you've also got a fingerprint scanner in the back, a 13 megapixel rear camera, and a five megapixel front facing camera, which also has an LED flash in the front, which is very surprising. I don't think I've ever seen another phone with this. Actually, the Moto E4 has it, right? Yeah, well, this is the first one I've seen in person with it. And it's all got a quad core processor, but I'll have all the specs and all the information about this phone listed down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. Now, something I love about this phone is that it's got built-in Amazon Alexa, and all you gotta do is double tap the power button, turn off game room, and without even saying the name, it starts to shut down everything. Uh, of course, I let my recording lights stay on, but this is an awesome feature. If you've got some smart home products like smart lamps or whatever, you can actually turn them off wherever you are because this is connected to your mobile data. So your Alexa is always connected. You can control things in your house without even being home. And I think that's great. Now, if you guys wanna learn more about the phone, of course, I'll have it linked down below, but my buddy Austin Evans actually just did a video on it, so you guys can go check this out. He put it through a bunch of challenges to kind of show off what it can do, so I'll have him linked down below as well, so definitely check that out. And remember, Metro PCS has great rate deals on a network that covers 99% of people in the US, just like the big guys. So next up, we've got an LG ultra-wide monitor, and this guy is just 157 bucks, guys. So that is such a deal on an awesome monitor. Now, it's not the biggest monitor in the world, but it's pretty decent. I think the actual model number is like the LG 25UM58P. Ooh, I'm sure I got that right. But check this out, guys. This is a decent ultra-wide monitor. If you're on a budget, this is a very solid option. It, of course, gives you a ton of real estate, so you can have a few things open, uh, you get a lot of work done with all the different things, multitasking, all that good stuff. And it's just pretty good quality. Now, you don't get a crazy stand. This won't be able to go up or down, but you can give it a little tilt here and there, so you can move with it like that. And I just think it's a solid option. 157 bucks. Monitors that are ultra wide usually cost quite a bit more. So this is a nice solid option if you wanna jump into the ultra wide world without spending a pretty penny. And the colors look pretty good on this. It's an IPS panel. I think the resolution is 2560 by 1080p. So you're still getting full HD quality here. Honestly, I just really like this panel considering the price. And with this thing being so cheap, you can probably get two for a nice dual monitor setup. Although you probably won't need that since this is an ultra wide monitor. Uh, it should be able to give you enough real estate. But if you really want to have an awesome setup, 300 bucks for two ultra wides, sounds like a good deal to me. And next up, we've got a gaming headset. These are the Astro A10s. Now, it's kind of weird to even mention Astro in a tech you can actually afford video, but this is their latest A10 headset, and this is supposed to target those people who want the Astro brand, but don't want to pay the insane $200 to $300 price tag for a gaming headset. Now, as you can see, we've got the green version here, which is for the Xbox, but honestly, this works for all the systems. Uh, it's just color coded. So if you want an Xbox version, it's green, PS4 is blue, the red one is for PC, uh, but they're all, they all function the same. There is an Xbox version that comes with an additional mix amp, uh, but honestly, the functionality is the same. You just pick the color you want. Now, what's special about these headphones, besides the $60 price tag, is the fact that these are extremely durable. So you can actually just take them and go like this, bend them up, do some really, really insane things to it. And that's because it has this steel band inside of the plastic that gives it some flex. So you can actually give these a bit of a beating without worrying about them clunking out on you. So if you're one of those angry gamers, you don't have to worry about throwing these around. They're gonna be okay. And in terms of comfort, these are actually really comfortable. I like the padding on the ear cushions, but I do wish the cushion on the top was a bit wider. 
Uh, I can actually feel the pressure from having this little point on top of my head, but it's not extremely uncomfortable or anything. It's, it's honestly just fine. It just would have been more comfortable with a wider cushion up top. Now, when it comes to the actual sound quality, I kind of like these. Now, they're not top of the line, of course, but they do get the job done. This is definitely going to be way better than listening to the speakers on your TV. So I think they're a go in terms of a $60 gaming headset. I honestly think in terms of the price, durability, and sound quality, you're getting a solid deal. And that about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you guys like seeing some tech that costs a lot less than the typical. And if you wanna see more videos like this, let me know some suggestions down below on high price items that you wanna see cheap versions of. But I think this was a pretty good uh, batch, don't you think? Smartphone, gaming headset, uh, monitor, ultra wide monitor. It's a good bunch. But till the next video, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. Be the cool guy or girl that gives this video a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, it's your average consumer. Peace.